So I can see for myself growing up and um, when I met the Balance You training and it's just become clearer and clearer to me, I just really didn't know how to be with all of my different life experiences, my thoughts, emotions. I didn't know to how to be at ease with them and understand myself. Um, I always dearly wanted to, I just really wanted to feel at ease and be of benefit. Like know what to do, what to say, how to be in each circumstance and my life just seemed like this constant attempt to try to understand and try to be of benefit, try to make everything okay for myself and other people, just to be all right, to have a good life. How do I have a good life? And um, I'm meeting the Balance Who training and being introduced to open intelligence and the Four Mainstays has shown me that I know what to do in each moment, I know what to say and ease and well-being is present in each and every moment no matter what is going on. That ease and potency is my very nature, is our nature, is the very nature of reality itself, is the nature of our intelligence, the nature of our mind and we can become acquainted with it. We can train this up, this recognition that ease and potency is the very nature of our mind, is the very essence of everything we experience, and that it isn't dependent on certain circumstances, certain thoughts, emotions, outcomes, results. It's just in this recognition. If we just stop thinking for one moment, the briefest moment, we can identify a basic intelligence that's always on always, no matter what is going down. Open intelligence, always present, bright, open, welcoming every single experience without bias, not, not like everything is welcome. And all of the experiences, the data streams, unstoppable dynamic display of thoughts, emotions, experiences, people, places, things, everything. Like, Everything is included within open intelligence. They are inseparable, like the color blue in the sky, like the breeze and the air. We can't take our data streams out of open intelligence and we can't experience our data streams without open intelligence. So when we um, uh, come to the Balance View training, we are invited to simply recognize and rely on open intelligence instead of always emphasizing the content, the data streams. Instead of always, I just see for myself, I was just trained to describe reality, to emphasize my thoughts and emotions, only see them, like collapsing into them so something would come up, like uh, feeling sad in the morning. And then that would, that would be my focus all day, like how can I stop feeling sad? Why has this come up? Is it because of my past? or perhaps it would be attached to some, some memory would come with it and the sense of nostalgia and then I would just be lost in this feeling all day, like preoccupied with this data stream, thinking that there was something there that I needed to sort out somehow to fix and unravel. And since being introduced to open intelligence, just letting it be as it is, and that's the single instruction in the Balance View training, short moments of letting our, our experience be as it is. Recognizing the openness of our intelligence and letting all data be as they are. Letting sadness be as it is, letting nostalgia, letting memories, letting them arise completely. That you see that like everything arising powerfully, vividly in each moment and then resolving back like a line drawn in space, we can't hold on to any data stream, any experience. So we let it just be, flow that powerfully, that freely, that openly, inseparable from open intelligence. I just started to see in that, like I start to enjoy, like enjoy in a new way, enjoy life in such a free and open hearted way, enjoying every single experience freely, purely, as it is, 
no longer constantly trying to improve my experience in the moment, you know, like when something comes up and you're like, mm, it's just not okay and I want to change this, you're busy yourself with that. And you're all the time missing this pervasive ease and potency. Us as we are, just so exalted, so brilliant, nothing more needed. As open intelligence, every single person has, has, is open intelligence. Everybody inseparable from it, everybody fueled by it. So we just relax as that basic essence of what we are. And, and just seeing that what opens up is when that self-focus falls away. I saw myself so focused on myself, wanting to make myself okay, be this good person with a good life, have all the right data streams in place, have all the good feelings and none of the bad ones. Then just letting everything be as it is, feeling I can feel, see I can feel everything fully and in that fine potency and ease in each moment and all that's left is wanting to be of benefit, that benefit that I was always dearly looking for. How can I be of benefit? And now I find it's just in letting everything be as it is. What pours forth is benefit. That's all that's going on. So we let it be that simple and the four mainstays of balanced view support us to get to know this reality about ourselves. Short moments of letting everything be as it is, becoming acquainted with this great intelligence, fundamental intelligence, beneficial intelligence. And then we have a training which is an opportunity to really just deepen this recognition like we read texts, we come together in a group and share openly, ask questions, see how human we all are, how our experience is so common, how much we share with each other and empower ourselves in that. And there's a one day training happening today and people, you'd be welcome to apply and um, if you're interested in finding out more about the trainings and how they can support us in this recognition of open intelligence. And then the third mainstay is a trainer, somebody who will just support us, somebody who's gone before, who has greater assurance and has checked out in their own experience what it is to let things be as they are and rely on open intelligence and can assure us and empower us in that for ourselves, empower our own capacity to be of benefit. And uh, it's, such a, I just, it's such an incredible relationship to have in our life unlike any I'd ever had before where somebody only their only agenda is to support love and empower me nothing else going on totally there totally available so incredible it's such a I see it's such a, a training ground for all my other relationships just open-hearted relating open-hearted relating with a trainer and somebody who only sees my brilliance and nothing else and then there's a community of people all around the world, all of us, choosing this for ourselves, choosing to live in this way and empowering our mind and not settling anymore for ideas of degradation or restriction. I just see growing up, I had so many, um, just grew up with so many ideas. Of, I needed a rule book of how to be like, um, and really I see without the recognition of open intelligence, without coming into contact with something about me that's always stable and completely beneficial, that those rule books were so needed, like to do unto myself as I would prefer to be, like to do to others as I'd be, want to be done to myself and, and the important supports in society until we know about open intelligence. And then we can really start to settle into this spontaneous benefit, spontaneous knowing of what to do in each moment and, uh, and empower ourselves completely in that and not needing any more to adhere to any frameworks of thinking. Everything just allowed to be as it is, not needing to get rid of anything, but just learning for ourselves moment by moment, seeing. So in situations like with friends, seeing, we see what is of most benefit and we empower ourselves to speak up and if it's, I just see for myself asking if somebody can ask if you can make a suggestion 
It's always powerful if somebody could say no, then they've chosen. But also you, if you see something where it's really like, you know, resting deeply in open intelligence, we just unavoidably see what is of most benefit. And, um, and I've seen for myself, really, it's like sometimes something's said, sometimes it's not. And each time I just learn more and more and more. My discernment grows of when to speak up and that confidence and assurance. And, um, and also finding skillful ways of saying things that people understand and speaking from my direct experience, like rather than telling people how they should be, there's also such skillful ways of sharing our experience that people understand very directly and touches them deeply. Um, but also it's so powerful to let people just decide for themselves and see and learn. And I know I've been completely empowered by that. I've been given the space to explore for myself, like what's of benefit. And that's what the Four Mainstays is. It's a support so that we can really get to know our beneficial potency for ourselves. Not anyone telling us how we should be. There are certainly suggestions and invitations and um, sharing of experience of what people have found is of most benefit. But really, it's an exploration in each moment. We just tune it up, warm it up, this, this clear seeing of what is of most benefit, how we can support and empower each other, because that's all that is really going on. That's the core motivation of everything. The essence of everything is wanting to be of benefit to all. And uh, when we rely on open intelligence, it just becomes so obvious obvious benefit in each moment but we just test it out for ourselves so if you're here for the first time or um, you, you're new to the, to the training really just use short moments short moments throughout your day of just letting things be as they are we can test it out now just simply to let whatever appearance is be relax in that relax totally make no attempt to describe it to change it to divert it, to edit it, to follow it. Just let it be as it is and see that it resolves on its own, nothing needing to be done. Self-releasing into the here and now. And we just move along in that way. Move along in a way that is of increasing benefit and potency. And uh, I just see for myself the Four Mainstays lifestyle is just the lifestyle I always wanted, like I could not have dreamt up a better life of being in community with people and really getting to know myself and seeing very directly how I can be of benefit to others. And, um, and just like in the, in the video, like the island of gold, just seeing that every single experience, everything is just a pure opportunity to recognize beneficial potency, to live it, to share it. And I just couldn't have ever known that without this training. Like, you know, anxiety cannot be beneficial potency. No way. Stress, no way. That's just not possible. Depression or sadness, no way. These, these things are bad and I'm going to get rid of them. I'm just not going to experience them. And now we learn a new way where we can let everything be as it is, see that we feel and encompass all data streams, open intelligence, experiencing everything. We don't need to change anything and in that we just experience the great natural benefit of reality as it is. And we give ourselves the gift of taking support to do that, to get to know us, that about ourselves because it's new. This is new in society. It's not common knowledge that we can just let our experience be as it is and that we're safe to do that. Quite the reverse, we're told that we mustn't let things be as they are. We need to change them, we're not safe. And, um, and so really we just learn this new way of seeing this total safety, total power, total ease in each moment simply as we are. And uh, we also learn that there's in the those big topics like sex or money and just exploring them from open intelligence, just letting everything be as it is, all ideas, all um, sense of restriction. And it's such an amazing place to just let, you know, things that we think are taboo or things that we think are 
should be um, say something about us or about our identity or how things should be or shouldn't be and intimate relating and everything just letting all our ideas be as it is letting ourselves settle in that and living so naturally from there it's uh and seeing also like what's of most benefit again like it doesn't change that context of what's of most benefit to ourselves and all in that situation and um I just see how vague I was about sexual relating before. It was just like something that, you know, you met someone, it sort of like desire came up and then you followed it up. That was basically how it happened. It's like, oh, desire, off we go. Or try to. <laughs> and like spend quite a lot of effort trying to make that happen. And now like it's just like free flow, another appearance, like nothing needing to, like letting it be a data stream arising and open intelligence, relying on open intelligence to know what to do rather than always following up or avoiding or replacing data streams, just letting it be free in its place, seeing from there how we want to live. So it's just redefining everything about ourselves anew, afresh in each moment. It's such an exciting journey, like letting ourselves be surprised, letting ourselves be totally open to the flow of reality as it is and seeing from there, not adhering to any frameworks. Completely free in each moment. <laughs>